Hi guys, my name is Lucy Tucker and I'm a rethinker from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I am a My Ideas leader um, for a grant called Re Restorative Justice, Sharing the Knowledge. Um, I wrote the grant because I work with an organization called Rethink and it's Kids Rethinking New Orleans Public Schools. And so basically after Katrina, all these decisions were getting made about how to change schools and how to fix our failing school system in New Orleans. And a woman named Jane Wally decided, you know, why, why not put youth voice into that? I think restorative justice can help reduce the dropout crisis because it lowers suspension and expulsion rates across the board. And it makes students happier to be a part of what's happening in their schools. They get to decide more about their disciplinary system. They get closer to each other. They get closer to the people facilitating the circles, whether they're other youth or adults. So basically, the grant that I wrote was asking for money to go to Denver, Colorado, because students there, a lot, a lot of schools are already taking restorative justice practices and putting them into their schools and having students lead those circles. While we were in Denver, we went to seven schools in two days, and different schools that, you know, high schools and middle schools that were all using restorative justice practices. We met, we met and spoke with a lot of those students, and at the very end of the trip, we had a big youth summit, the first ever youth-led restorative justice summit um, bringing together all types of people, people that were facilitators, co-facilitators of these circles, and people who had been offenders and victims in the circles, and we all came together and talked about our experiences with them. So what you're about to see is um, some footage of us in schools and also the Youth Summit. Thank you. Everything was actually founded at the Katrina Vietnam where we went to different directions and to different schools. Uh, some of us went to Texas, some of us went to Mississippi, and we experienced a different uh, environment. And uh, we saw different things that we never saw before, like hospitality. When you do a case with kids that are younger than you, they just kind of have more respect for you. Even if you're a freshman, they have a lot more respect for you. What was that experience like for you? Kind of nervous. Well, I wouldn't say nerve-wracking because it wasn't, but it was very nervous. Um, a lot of pressure because um, I was taking notes and I thought I didn't take them good enough, but I guess I did. So. You did a great job. Snaps for Connor. <laughs> it's usually just students doing it. Uh, Emily and I on Wednesdays go to a middle school every Wednesday, and uh, it's usually just us and then... Um, the offenders and the victims, and then if it's a serious case, then the principal or someone will, or counselor will attend, but it's usually just students working with students. Facilitators and co-facilitators are there to, like it says in the name, facilitate the conferences, you know, get everybody through it. It's really not our job to be putting in uh, our input on what we think should be, a ha or should happen, or what the offenders should do to restore the harm. Uh, it's more around to the uh, community members and we just, you know, kind of guide the process and get everybody talking. So, on Friday, after having visited six of the seven schools, we still had one left to go to, Flagstaff Elementary and Middle School. Um, there's a teacher there named Mr. Pugh who teaches a class called the Peacemakers class and they learn a lot about restorative justice and there are a lot of really amazing, amazing kids. So he invited us to go meet the Peacemakers class and then after that go into the gym and be able to, um, to talk and connect with some of the students. So what you're about to see is what happened when we came into the gym and also some fabulous footage from the Restorative Justice Youth Summit. <laughs> we, we usually have the parent there just so that they can, you know, be there. And sometimes we have to break away and, like, we usually have, like, one of us or go with the, the kids, because sometimes they're not comfortable saying stuff in front of their parents. 30% of students who are cold fell behind in their classes after they were suspended, and 25% felt less motivated when coming back off of suspension. Rethink is trying to find alternatives to kids falling out of the system. We've done a press conference on restorative justice, written songs about it, made videos like the one you just saw, 
and bring the play of our struggle justice that we are performing for New Orleans schools. Um, I've been suspended a couple of times myself. It, um, it's not nice coming back to school and have somebody thinking you're a bad person or whatever. Because they're able to decide to have a person. You know, it's sort of just as like other people can make it. I'm so deeply moved by you all. So, since we went to Colorado, the Rethink Restorative Justice Group has been doing some really exciting work here in New Orleans. Um, it all started, you know, where we were in Colorado and we had all these fabulous ideas and we were really excited about um, bringing, this, bringing this movement back to New Orleans. But we had to figure out a way to actually get it to come across to the youth as something that's important and something that's meaningful. And so we wanted to figure out a way to show people in schools that this movement relates to them and that they can be a part of it and that they can really drive it home with their school leaders themselves. So a woman named Jen came down from New York and did a workshop with us on forum theater and we talked a lot about um, what's a good way to get youth to interact with us and really um, come down and talk about why restorative justice is important. So with Jen we created a full-length interactive forum theater workshop where we did a skit and then um, youth came in and then we talked about you know how to really um, how to change things in it and how restorative justice could have helped different um, moments in the skit and um, from there the presentations just grew. So um, some youth came down from Oakland, California. They were at a school called United's First Success Academy. And um, we did the workshop with them and we had so much fun with them. They learned a lot and so did we about, you know, how to work with young people more in this process. And it was it was really, really exciting to work with them. Um, so after that, we did a presentation at Sci Academy. And since we did that presentation, they are now beginning their school here in New Orleans and they're now beginning the process of getting staff into um, into these restorative justice practices and so they're now working on trainings with them and it's it's quite it's really wonderful so um, so yeah there's a lot of really exciting things happening in New Orleans we have a, a more presentations coming up and um, so but what it comes down to is that we really want to thank America's Promise Alliance for this. You guys have helped us so much, and AT&T for helping us fund it as well. This has been a truly inspiring, amazing project, and I didn't think it was possible. But then we got this funding, and it's it's been really, really fun. So, And I would also like to thank all the other rethinkers who've been a part of this movement. I know that I'm sitting up here on this webcam telling you about what's going on here, but there are so many other faces that I wish you could get to see even more of, and um, there's just, there's so many people that have been a part of this, I can't even say. Um, and I would mainly really like to thank anyone and everyone who's heard our voices, who's come to our press conferences, who's really, who's heard about this restorative justice movement and has taken it back to their friends and families, because spreading the word helps us so much, and really to all of you thank you you're an inspiration and it's it's been so great to get to meet so many of you especially in Colorado all the youth there have been it's been so much fun um so yeah uh I guess all that I have to say is that this isn't the end of rethink this project is going to keep going on for years to come hopefully and um we we'd really love to partner with you guys in the future so thank you so much and um well, we'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.